Okay, so let's continue with the ears. Um, you probably noticed, and I did mention in my last video, that I'm going to just tweak it up a little bit. And, you know, I, I have done that. I've tweaked, um, like, the lips. I've tweaked uh, the eyebrow area. I've tweaked the bridge of the nose. Um, I've sort of looked at loads of reference images, and I've tried to get the right angles uh, on the cheekbone leading down to the kind of uh, the chin area. So, you know, not that page because that's YouTube. But um, if you go here, uh, I've got a number of pictures that I was looking at to use as a reference for that kind of cheekbone. So I found a few pictures that are from an angle like this as well. So we can have a look. Um, like this one as well. But you know, and I've tried to make mine as close as possible as that. As close as possible. I think I've done it okay. I think I've done it uh, pretty well. So it did take a little bit of time just tweaking it, but again, just use, using that soft selection, it did make my job a lot easier. Um, now, I did promise you know, to, to do the ears, so let's uh, create some ears. From looking at reference images, again, I have determined that her ears are actually quite angular. They angle back quite a lot. I mean, even if you look in here, they, are, they do kind of angle back a little bit. So... Um, and especially in this photograph, where they look ridiculously angled back. Um, but you know, I'll stick with the reference for now, and I can always rotate the ears a little bit later. So I just need to tweak this a little bit. So I just go to my vertice selection, and I've still got soft selection because again, it's just going to help me um, edit some of these points just going to pull this down again look I'm not going to line it up with the outside of the ear around the back I'm actually going to go in further um, in fact in fact I'm just going to do it a different way uh, I am going to line it up around the ear so we get the right shape it's probably going to be a bit better so I'm just going to kind of go around again I did say that I can kind of put a connect in here later I can put a new edge in because I need an edge so I can kind of curve this area out. So I'm just going to select the edges running across. Turn off soft selection of course at this stage. So you see see what I've done? I've just selected all the edges through this kind of whole segment just there. And if I click connect, bam, it's just put in a new edge. And I can use that then to kind of curve uh, the back of the head off as well as the ear area as well. So you can see how that's curved quite nicely. Again, just go into um, my vertice selection just to get that even more accurate. Just want to ensure that I'm on the outside of the ear, like so. I just want to bring this around a little bit so it's not so angled. Um, and even here, I'm just going to kind of pull this down a little bit, and of course, pull this one down too. I'll explain why in a second because you know the kind of earlobe area needs to be rounded off as much as possible. Um, her earlobe isn't very large, it kind of just blends into the face really quickly. Um, so there's not really much, she doesn't have a you know a big earlobe. So you know, we've just done that, we've created this kind of area where <coughs> which fits around the ear. So if I just save that, um, what I tend to do now is I kind of bridge the gap in between in between this area or I create a polygon uh, which um, is of this area here so if I just click on polygon and I right click and click on to create I can then kind of go point to point like so until I get right the way around So, and there we have, um, we've just created a polygon just there, like so. See that? I need to do a little bit more tweaking around um, on the actual um, head itself because it still looks a little odd in places, but you know, 
Um, she's going to have long hair, so I don't need to concern myself too much about that at this stage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select that polygon that I've just kind of placed in there. And I'm going to extrude that out. Extrude. Now, if I look in my front view, the ears don't come out very far. Um, the reason for that is this perspective. Because the photo is taken quite close up to her face, it makes um, her ears look like they are... Um, well, it makes the cheekbones um, look like they're wider apart and, you know, it kind of em overemphasizes certain parts of the face and it underemphasizes certain parts of the face. So, you know, you can't see the ears just there too, too well. Um, whereas there's a photograph of the front of her face uh, like this, which is further back, and you can really see how um, how much they kind of stick out, I guess. So I'm just going to go into my 3ds Max and just extrude that out to a decent amount, like so. I know it looks really odd, like I'm creating some sort of you know alien or something, uh, but bear with me. This is how you want to be doing it. Okay, so you've kind of created that, that shape just there. But of course, you know, not all of the, the ear is going to be sticking out. You know, we want to kind of blend the front part of the ear into the into the face, as you can see in the background there. That's how ears are, you know, they blend into the face. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to target weld. So if I just kind of get off my transparency mode for a second. Just target weld um, from kind of this point here. If I kind of work that out correctly from here, so target weld that, target weld that one, target weld that one there, this one, and debating whether to do this one. I think I might want to leave this out, but let's just see what it looks like. So I'm going to leave it open for a minute because she does need a tiny earlobe. So you know that's kind of the first step, and then what 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 we need to do is deselect the target weld and just kind of smooth that angle out a little bit like that and if we go in our top view or even just use our perspective view for now we can just kind of change the angle of the of the ear so that that front face is sticking out and then it will go in slightly like that can you see how we've got kind of ear shape going on now um, Okay, from this kind of stage here, um, it's you know the the task now is basically to create this kind of curved area, which is just going to be here, this area just here. So the way that we do that is um, we can extrude the the top of the ear. That might be one way. So let's let's try that. If we kind of just extrude this area slightly, so we kind of create another kind of little um, edge within there. So not too much, just very slightly. In fact, uh, let me rethink this. Do, do, do. Yeah, in fact, you just want to connect. So if I quickly kind of connect all the way around. So select all of these. And actually, I want to select that one too for now, and that one just there on the side. It's just so it has the connect line has somewhere to go. So if I just kind of connect, and then go to my target world on vertices, I can then target world that point to there, and target world this point to there. Perfect. And. In my next video, I will continue with the ear. I mean, it's not going to take too much longer to kind of do that that ear shape because we are doing it low poly. So I'm going to leave it to normal mapping when I go into Z ZBrush late, later on to kind of create um, more detail on the ear. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to leave it at that. You've got a basic ear shape. And in the next video, I will kind of go into a bit more detail on how to curve that off. and possibly bring the neck down because I want to kind of give more of a structure to, to the head okay so move along to my next video